Northwestern. We've talked a lot about them on this show these last couple weeks. The over under the other week was three and a half. It's at three now. I will still, still be high. taking. It's still too high. I'll be taking the under. I uh, do I need to explain? Like they won one game last year, and again, the funny stat as everyone knows, it was not even in America. Right? They have they won zero games in the United States of America last year. They had NFL talent on their team. Yeah. They had four guys. Peter Skronsky, first rounder. Really good football player. Cam Mitchell. Was he fifth rounder to like not the Browns? Thinking of Greg Newsom, but uh he was a good player for them. He was basically like a mini Greg Newsom. Or not as good Greg Newsom. Evan Hall was a very good, very good running back for them. Very, he, very he talented. Carried, carried that offense yes. last year. As a yes. runner and a receiver, he had like 55 targets or something like that as a running back. Yeah. At a boy, I mean, he's gone. He was really good at edge there. I, look, they get Howard. They get Howard. Okay. That's it. That's their only guaranteed win this entire year. If you think UTEP is a guaranteed win for this team, that's crazy how we can say that UTEP is not a guaranteed win for this team. This team is so bad. This team is so, so bad. So what are they doing in the transfer portal? Sure, they lose Ryan Helinski. Bummer. He was not that good. Sorry. Poor guy. He's a good guy. Poor guy. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. But Ben Bryant, they bring in from Cincinnati, who was, I mean, transferred. That was that was his third transfer. Sat Cincinnati, transfers to Eastern Michigan, transfers back to Cincinnati. Now he's at Northwestern. He's meh. Cincinnati fans will tell you he's meh. <laughs> he's pretty meh. Uh, they lose Malik Washington, uh, the wide receiver, who was I believe the leading receiver last year. He goes to what Virginia. Yep. He's he's a bowling ball. I I don't know. I very high effort, high motor, uh, not an explosive player. Uh, AJ Henney comes from Michigan. I think he's an explosive player. I think he was a highly rated uh player coming out yeah. of I believe Illinois. Um, and he's there now. He could be pretty good for them but if he's the only guy there then they have something else coming i don't see a bell cow on this roster um the o-line is really concerning because look and a lot of times when i say like on the oh the o-line the coach they didn't really grab anyone in the transfer portal because they trust the guys that they have i don't know that this was the case <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think it is and they didn't grab a single person in the transfer portal for this offensive line not a single one that i'm looking at at this roster that I'm looking at right now, I don't see a single person. The, so, they didn't. The, the problem is, is we talked about it a little bit with the ACC teams and your elite academic powers and how hard it is to come in as a transfer. Because not only is it hard to transfer your credits and actually be eligible to play, but you can't you can't transfer in until that summer. You can't even transfer in for spring ball. So not it's it's very hard to get transfers in there, but you could have at least gone to the Ivy Leagues and plucked out some Harvard guy, some some Yale dude, and say, hey, you want a grad grad degree from Northwestern? Come here and get one. So I I don't know. They got, but I I don't know. I I really do not trust anything on this offensive line. They lost their best player on the team and two others, and it's an area of concern for sure. And that's saying something on this offense, because the problem is is. You want to talk about disaster? I mean, look at Boston College and teams with decimated offensive lines, bad offensive lines, and then you know injuries happen, so you have to have some depth. I don't know. This could be, uh, you know, we're rooting for Northwestern with everything that happened and all of those players that were affected by it and coaches and, and all the other athletics that are going on, but I don't see it this year. I really don't. Yeah, there's just there's not much to say. Like, what what else? what else do you want us to say about this team? What else do you want us to say? They're not they're not that good. I mean, maybe linebacker, they're fine. Uh Mac Uline is a pretty good linebacker. Uh, hasn't really started for them, but I, I anticipate him getting more snaps now that uh now that he's what a junior at this point. Yep. Right. Yeah, he's a junior. That's a guy that is not fun to tackle. I'll tell you that from experience. 
<laughs> he's a really good football player. Um, better linebacker than he is running back from back in the high school days. Uh, Bryce Gallagher might be fine. Uh, well, I, I say might be. He's actually he's okay. He's okay. I'm a little bit hasty to say that he's really good, but he's okay. He's okay. So it, it's like. How did this team get worse, dude? How did this team get worse? I don't know. The the but the nicest thing I can say about the defense is Devin Turner has a lot of versatility. He can play corner, <laughs> he can play safety, and yeah. then Jeremiah Lewis is also pretty good. He was a a Duke guy that they, they could have probably gone in the portal. But they kept him in there. We'll see. But the the thing is, is these are the kind of years where nobody expects anything from Northwestern, and they go off and they you know they win the Big Ten West. No. Is that gonna happen this year? No, it's not gonna There's happen. No way. There's just but, no way. But we'll see. I, I, I don't see it. I really don't. 